Mythos is just ahead. And the Great Sea should be there too. This is it, everyone. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm prepared to accept whatever happens in the coming battle. And we will win. Yeah, we're gonna win. For Mizuho, Karin, and for all of you who believed in a coward like me. For myself, too. I don't want anyone else to make the same mistake I did. No one should have to think that he has to sacrifice his own life. Everyone should be able to live freely, no matter who they are. Humans and elves, and even us. It's okay for us to be here, in this world. Yes. That's why we must recover the Great Seed from Mythos, and revive the Giant Tree. Without it, not only will we be unable to restore peace between the different races... The world itself will die. We can't let that happen. We must reunite the worlds. Afterwards, we shall make a new promise to the new world. The people that I like and the people that I don't... Both have the right to live in the same world as I do. That's the way things should be. So count me in. I won't run from this one. All right. Let's go. We're going to restore a world where everyone can live freely. Home. I'm going home. Mythos, listen to me. We don't have to fight. Please return the Great Sea to us so that we can reunite the worlds. Home. I'm going home. Something's wrong. He sounds like a puppet. W what?
I need to thank you for going through all the trouble to bring me back here. I'm finally myself again. Damn. So that's what this was all about. Mythos, Martell is already dead. That's not true. Martell is alive. Just as I lived on in the Crucius Crystal. That's not living. That's just existing as a lifeless being. What's wrong with that? What? After all, in our bodies flow the bloods of humans and elves. The bloods of those that despise us. We're better off casting aside such filth and become lifeless beings. That's what you really want? Of course. Watch. When you become a lifeless being, you can even control your appearance and growth. Everyone should become lifeless beings. I told you before, the only way to eliminate discrimination is for everyone to become the same race. What you hope for is nothing but a dream, Mythos. Discrimination comes from the heart. He's right, Mythos. It's the weakness of people's hearts that causes discrimination. Looking down upon others while placing themselves too high. You do the same thing. You look down on humans and elves, treating them like cattle. That's the weakness of your heart. Even if people become lifeless beings, nothing will change. Discrimination will continue. Then where should the Half-Elves go? We aren't accepted anywhere. We opened our hearts, but no one took us in. Where should we live? You can live anywhere you like. Don't make me laugh. I'm serious. Anywhere is fine. If you aren't doing anything wrong, you should just live proudly in the open. It's because we couldn't do that. That I... that we wanted a place of our own. Uh-uh. Sorry, but don't act like you're the only victim here. It doesn't even come close to justifying all the things that you've done. What you've done caused meaningless suffering and death to countless people. Can you feel their pain? People can change, even if they don't change right away. Months, years, as time passes, change is inevitable. Maybe not everything can be forgiven? But one can try to atone for one's sins. Can't you feel it in your heart? The goddess known as conscience. Do you think I'm gonna beg for forgiveness? Ridiculous. There is no goddess. So I would continue to pursue my ideals. If there is no place where I can live, and if I've been denied my age of lifeless beings, then the only thing left for me is to build a new world on Daris Carlon. A world just for my sister and me. There's nothing anyone can do. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Mythos is... It's just like Alicia. Mythos will continue to live as long as the Crucius Crystal exists. And eventually, I will be taken over by the Crystal. Mythos... I'm tired of playing your game of good and evil. Hurry up and destroy the Crystal. If you don't, Darius Carline will continue to drift away. Mythos! Do it now! Before I... Too... I'm no longer myself. Lloyd! Please! Help him! Let him die while he's still himself! Alright. Farewell, my shadow. You who stand at the end of the path I chose not to follow. I wanted my own world, so I don't regret my choice. I would make the same choice all over again. I will continue to choose this path. You could've... You could've lived with us, in our world. Damn it. The old master of the pact is no more. What does the new master of the pact ask of this sword? Restore the true form of our two worlds! Are we back? What's going on? What are you all doing? Your wish is granted. But there is no link. Without a link, the land will die. What do you mean? The world was originally separated into two, in order to prevent its destruction. If it returns to its true form, the world lacks the mana to support itself. The land is dying. I don't need to know why it's dying. What do we need to do to stop it? 
Support the two worlds by linking them with a the giant tree. That is the only way to stop the destruction of the land. We need to awaken the giant Carlin tree. I get it. Lloyd, hurry! You have to shine the mana of Darius Carlon on the Great Seed before Darius Carlon is too far away. All right then. I'm counting on you, Eternal Sword. Darius Carlon is already at the edge of the gravitational field. Not even Yggdrasil. Mythos could stop this from happening. Do you still intend to try? Yeah. Even strengthened by your Exvia, it is likely that your body will not withstand the forces. Are you certain of your decision? I said I'm doing it, so I'm doing it. It's not like we have a choice. Very well. not working. The man is being deflected. The great seed is already dead. Wait, don't go. Please wake up. Carlon stopped moving away. Yeah, but why? The Eternal Sword is gone. The Eternal Sword! Thank goodness. This is my final wish. The Eternal Sword. Please, awaken the Great Seed. I beg you. Please, wake up! Please! Rise, giant Carlon tree!
Martell, and also the incarnation of the Great Seed itself. Lloyd, your hope, as well as those of many others, resurrected me. So you're Mitho's sister? No, Mitho's sister Martell is only one of the many souls within me. I am Mana, and I am the giant tree. I am the symbol of the many lives sacrificed to the Great Seed. I am a new spirit born to accompany the giant tree. And now the seed has awakened anew along with me. form of the giant tree, but right now, it is only a small seedling. In its current state, the tree will wither and die. Well then, how do we protect it? You must provide the tree with love and adoration. As long as those conditions are met, I shall always protect the seedling. I promise, if the tree ever starts to wither, I'll make sure we won't let it die. Then Lloyd, on behalf of all living things, I want you to give this tree a new name, as a proof of the pact. What? The giant Carlon tree was planted here by the elves when they first came, as a guardian to watch over and protect them. This newly reborn tree protects elves, humans, and the lives of all those who are caught in between. Therefore, this tree requires a new name. Lloyd, pick a name for us. A name for everyone's tree. So this tree is the link that connects the world. Okay, I got it. This tree's name is...
Grandmother, I'm home. Oh, chosen one. No, Grandmother, I'm not a chosen anymore. Oh, yes. Colette, you have made us all proud. Welcome home, Colette. It's good to be home, Father. I see. So, Kratos will travel with Deris Karlon wherever it may go. What are you going to do? Go back to Isalia? No. We're going out to visit new lands. We're going around the world to try and make it easier for half-elves to be accepted. It sounds like you have a difficult journey ahead of you. We can return to Isalia when we're tired. We will always have a home there. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Sheena. I'm so glad you're safe. Congratulations, Sheena. Ed, don't congratulate yet. A whole new world lies before us now. We have to inform everyone about the revival of the Igaguri style. Yes, and for when Kuchinawa returns as well. Yeah! Come on, everyone. Let's work as hard as we can. We're gonna make the village of Mizuho into a ninja clan to be proud of. See, look what happened. It's all because the Pope opened up his big mouth and tried to banish me and stuff. The whole world got messed up. Well then, Chosen One, what would you have me do? We'll send an emissary of peace to Isalia. Emissary? Who do you plan to send? How about Sheena from Mizuho? She's already involved. So the emissary of death becomes the emissary of peace. I won't let you sing. Until you do something about the Church of Martell, I still have the rights of the Chosen, remember? Alicia, I'm finally myself again. Time is finally starting to flow again from that night 16 years ago. You know what? I'm 28 years old now. Can you believe that? Were you talking with Alicia? Yes. I just got back from overseeing the destruction of part of the mine. Now that that's done, we can rest assured that no new X-spheres will be excavated. That's good to hear. What are your plans now? I'm going to devote the full resources of my company to revitalization projects in order to build a new and better world. I'll help too. I'm sure Alicia and Daddy would have wanted me to. Are you really going to Darius, Carlon? If a half-elf of Crucius remains here, the other half-elves will have no place to live. As a surviving member of Crucius, I must bear the responsibility for what has happened. I'm going to collect all the x spheres remaining in this land. And I will discard all of Crucius's x spheres into space. I've dragged you into this until the very end. It's okay. It's time for me to go. Please use that sword to send us to Darius Carla. Goodbye, Dad. Don't die before I do, Lloyd. My son. Mom, Dad left. That was okay, wasn't it? For me to let him go? It was okay, right? Lloyd, you wanted to go with him, didn't you? No. I have my own path to follow. And Dad has his. And besides, I have a dad here already. They see. Then I won't see anymore. Mom, I'll leave Dad's sword here beside you. Well? I'm off. <laughs>